we'll be using domain range and codomain word quite often now so it is very important we understand it we repeat definition of a function once again a function relates each element of a set with exactly one element of another set this each element of set is shown on the left on the right side with x now x is independent variable and y which is related to x and x every element is related to only one element on y the unique element this y is called dependent variable we have seen this note that this kind of relation one element getting related to two if it was possible then it will never remain a function so for this to remain a function such one element relating to two in y should not be there so to give the definition straight all elements in x are called set of this is called domain so this all elements here will then be termed as domain now what you see is on the right side elements of x are related to particular elements of y for example this is one element which is related to this this is another element which is related to this this element is related to this on x and this element is related to this and this to this same note that two elements from x can be related to one element on y but reverse is not possible if it has to remain a function one element of x cannot be related to element on y so this the green one which are related to x through the function are called the range but what you see is there are some more elements which are lying in y but they are not right now related with x any of the element in x so these two elements then are not directly related to x so the set of all y's actually has some elements which are related to x which we have called range and some which are not the complete set of y full set of y is called codomain so codomain will have 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 elements whereas range will have 1 2 3 4 elements if you are given any graph like this then on x axis you plot independent variable and every independent variable through this graph is actually related to one specific number on y axis for example this element here this element is related to the element here so element here is related to this by graph we can locate that so all the elements on y axis are related with element on x axis through this graph so x axis is the domain and on y axis what you see the relation and all the elements which are there are will be in the range by the definition that we have discussed so in nutshell what can go into a function is called the domain what may possibly come out of a function is called the codomain so all possible values here 1 2 3 4 5 6 will be codomain 
and what actually comes out of a function is called a range. So what is comes out in direct relation which is on graph shown here or here in this above figure 1, 2, 3, 4 element is called a range. So all possible values what function can have is codomain. What exactly it attains in a given situation is the range. Now we take another example. Suppose you are given two sets A and B. Set has A has elements 1, 2, 3, 4 and B has 1, 2, 3, 4 till 10. Now if A is related to B by any relationship then A all possible independent variable A will then be called domain and all possible values that actually function can relate to in B is called codomain. Now exact relationship that will happen due to exact nature of function will be range. So function here, here is x is 2x plus 1. So when you put x as 1 you get b element 3. So 1 and 3 are related by this expression. Similarly x is 2 then it is related to 5. x is 3 it is related to 7 and x is 4 is related to 9. So in b 3, 5, 7 and 9 will be the range because they are directly related to element in A whereas leftover elements together with the one which are related that is the complete set will of numbers will be called codomain. So you will say what will come out of the function or the dependent variable or the range will depend on what goes into the function or what is the independent variable which we call domain. So domain is essential to the function because it will define finally what will the range be. Let us take an example now. You have domain containing numbers 1, 2, 3 and the function is fx is x square. What goes in into this function or the independent variable is the domain and what comes out for x equal to 1 it is 1 square for 2 it is 2 square which is 4 for 3 it is 3 square which is 9 so therefore what is coming out in the form of the range is given by this function whereas the domain was 1 2 3 look at this new scenario we have changed domain to minus 3 minus 2 minus 1 0 1 2 3 and we have a function gx as x square. So functional relationship looks to be the same. But only the domain has been changed. Now it includes numbers from 0 to negative numbers also. Now when you see this, what you see is that positive numbers will remain as it is on the top. Minus 1 square is again 1. So minus 1 square and 1 square is 1. 2 square and minus 2 square is 4 but there is one element 0 which gives a new element 0 here in the range. So the range of two functions given above and below has changed because domain has changed. Upper one has 1, 2, 3 whereas lower one domain is from 0 to negative numbers and positive numbers both. So important thing that emerges now. What we see is even though both functions take the input and square it, both are square, they operate on a different set of inputs and so give a different set of outputs. This means that domain is a very very important part of your function and what you will get finally in the form of range will depend totally on what definition of domain you have given. The question that emerges now is does every function have a domain? Answer is yes. However, many times you will not notice it directly. For example, if you are studying whole numbers then domain will automatically will become whole numbers. 
we repeat distinction between codomain and range once again with an example if you have fx is equal to 2x and you say domain and codomain is of integers then it is obvious that range will be of even integers so though codomain is of all integers 1 2 3 we can have anything but even integers will be the range because if you put any number here 2 will make it even when you mul multiply by 2 so domain is of integers codomain is of integers but range is of even integers because of this definition of a function let us discuss the importance of codomain codomain plays a very important role let us see how our definition of codomain can have a dramatic effect on the function definition itself suppose I ask you is square root a function now if your codomain is defined as set of real numbers then square root is not a function let us show it how fx for example is root x and when you say f of 9 it will be both plus 3 and minus 3 so the moment you have one independent variable relating to two dependent it doesn't remain a function however if you limit your codomain to non-negative set of non-negative real numbers then this will not come and in such a situation square root function becomes a properly defined function in mathematics provided your codomain is this in fact we always in mathematics whenever square root is considered we take only positive value and therefore square root is always treated as a function so definition of codomain as with this example we have seen can make or change the function itself we know that mathematicians use notations instead of using long words so for example when you, they write this it means function f has domain set of natural numbers and codomain set of natural numbers and here when you write like this it means f takes in x and returns x square so fx is x square is what is meant if it is written like this here 